Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about the grouping state in Oracle database. So, add here using the table EMP. So, let's see the record inside of uh, EMP table. So, add here the most important columns are first is GPT number style and here job. So, I will do a grouping on uh, job and DPT number because uh, job and DPT, DPT number values are duplicate. So, here after let's uh, write the one query. So, at here going to use select dpt number and here after job and here sum. So, doing the sum on cell column and here after give the alias total of sum or from empty table and making group by on dpt number and job column. Now if you execute so that will return the sum of salary by making dpt number and uh, job in group wise. So see idea 13 and developer sum of salary 6000 20 clerk sum of salary 19900 and here like uh, 10 clerk sum of salary 1300. Now let's uh, copy that and here after So here after I am going to uh, do the sum of salary on dpt number only. So for the else add here, uh, let's copy and here I am going to do the sum of salary on dpt number. So uh, dpt number, so add here going to make the job map. Now if you execute add here, then you get the uh, uh, dpt number, so 30 sum of salary. 13,920, 10,875, 10, 8750. Now, here after I'm gonna combine. So, first, I'm gonna combine some salary of DPT number and job. And here, uh, with the DPT number group by some salary on uh, uh, DPT number. So, add here we need to use union all. Union all. Now, if you execute the this query. So see at here, or uh, first that uh, displaying some salary on or uh, DPT number and job column. Now here after this is a displaying some salary on or uh, DPT number here. Now here after I wanna do like uh, that time I used to add here DPT number. Now I am going to calculate some salary on job column. So add here we need to just pass job and here or uh, DPT number to remove and here job and if you execute to this query so see at here or oh, it's a uh, displaying first summer salary on job column here it's a uh, displaying now here after I'm going to combine with this all value here so union all so going to combine summer salary on the basis of DPT number job, here after DPT number, next is job. So see at here, first that is uh, displaying some salary on DPT number job, here after some salary on or job, and here some salary on DPT number. Now next, I want to calculate the ground total. So for ground total, let's copy that one. And here, paste it down. So ground total for this going to make the null and if some time this is not required. Now if you execute so this will display the ground total. So 33,525 is the ground total. Now I am going to combine with the ground total here also. So now let's uh, uh, copy and here execute to this query. So this is the display. So sadly first dpt number job. And here after some salary on uh, DPT number, here after some salary on job, and here that combined ground total. So this is the output here. So without grouping set, so this is the output it's a display. So this is about at here some salary on DPT number and job, and some salary on DPT number, some salary on job, and here some salary. So this is a ground total 33,525. It's a display. So see at here. Now hereafter I am going to use the grouping set. 
So here I'm going to use add your grouping set. So let's write the query for grouping set. Now select, so going to select add your dpt number and draw. Here after some time, as total from EMP group by. So add here, let's use group by and here going to use grouping set. Grouping set. And here one by one, I'm going to make the group. So first, add here going to make the group for DPT number on job. So DPT number and job one group. Or uh, second, I made the group for. So first is the DPT number here after DPT uh, DPT number and job is the first group. Second, or uh, DPT number only one group job one group here. And in last, or uh, grand total. So first group made. Now here after going to make DPT number. In one group, and here after comma next job in one group. Now for grand total, just give the empty bracket. So this will calculate the grand total here. Now close the by bracket here. Now if you execute this query, so see at here. So at here twenty rows or total twenty rows of actor. And here, now uh, this or uh, here, this is the output. So by using grouping set, I'm getting the this output, and without grouping set, getting this output. So add your C. So this is the first that is uh, uh, declaring the value with a deep number and job. Here after, this is uh, uh, getting the output first on job. Here after deep number, and here you can find somewhere grand total. So this is the value of grand total. Now. And here, now. So by making group grouping set, and here this is the uh, without grouping set. So first that is a uh, displaying a DP number and a uh, job. After that, that are calculating some salary. Here after that is calculating some salary on DP number. Here after job, and here this is the grand total. So only difference is at here by by making grouping set. So first uh, this is the similar, and here only. At here, this is the first. First is uh, displaying at your job. Here after DP number. Only this is the difference, but the output is the same. So which is the which query is the better by writing a uh, a uh, one two three four five six seven line of codes or by writing this bulky code. So by writing this a uh, query. So which uh, query is the better at your or uh, this one or this one? So For best practice, you need to use a uh, grouping set, so it makes the uh, performance better. And uh, suppose at here, if you are trying to make the group, so if you are trying to make the group, let's so uh, see the table first. So if you are trying to make uh, more than two three groups, okay. So again, you have to write or uh, uh, like if you make a DP number job here, I'm going to make one group, one more group EMP number. Now here after you have to give. Uh, Or two or two group here after one group like this and one more group so they are that query or uh, become more bigger but if you are you give giving at your three groups so just to give at your three groups here after two groups they have after one groups after that you can calculate the sum salary on grouping or grouping wise that's why grouping or uh, sets comes to the point or uh, to make the query simpler. So now you to write uh, this a uh, bigger query or uh, to calculate a uh, uh, sum salary on or uh, different or uh, groups here. So this is the quite simpler and easier to understand. You have to use at a group by here after grouping set and make the or uh, columns in group wise. After that you can calculate a uh, uh, sum salary on grouping wise. So that's why a uh, grouping wise we are using to make the query simpler. And output are almost same. Only order change, but output here almost same. So this is the most important interview question. Why do we use grouping set in Oracle database? So I hope guys, this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.